became interested in engineering and science, I think when I was in year 12, because I went to a four day engineering camp in Brisbane. Um, I didn't actually know what engineering was until then pretty much, um, but I saw an ad in the school newsletter which was advertising for year 12 and 11 students who were interested in maths and science for them to learn more about engineering. And I thought, oh yeah, that sounds like fun to go to Brisbane for four days and meet some new people and learn something. And at this four day conference, I got to build Lego robots. I got to build other mechatronics catapults. I got to learn about mining engineering. I got to learn about civil engineering and I just thought it was really fascinating how engineers got to use the maths and the science that I learnt at school on practical problems and solve these big problems in the world. It was really great growing up here in Cairns. I got to learn piano, I got to learn lion dancing, um, Chinese dancing with all the other Chinese girls in Cairns. I got to do girl guides, uh, Cub Scouts, uh, speech and drama. My mum tried to give us lots of opportunities to learn things because she wanted to make us really well-rounded individuals and just have experience in a lot of different areas. I think it's really important to think about things. I think just sitting there and thinking about all your different projects and just think about it for like 10 minutes and you come up with the plan that enables you to achieve your goal. My family and I actually came to Melbourne uh, for a couple of days in my September holidays while I was in year 12 to have a look at the city and I really enjoyed visiting one of the colleges in particular. It's called Janet Clark Hall and it just had a really nice feel to it and they said they were looking for students that were um, high achievers in music and academia and enjoyed those things. Receiving the Youngest Round of the Year Award was a huge honour for me. To me it symbolised that Australia really values engineers and the work that engineers do for society and I thought I'm receiving this on behalf of you know, all engineers in Australia and uh, it's a real acknowledgement and, and I don't know, it's very special. Marita is an astonishing young woman, uh, just for her energy, her inspiration to start RoboGals, and then the, the way she's been able to be an ambassador for young women as engineers and as people who are making a difference in the world. I think Marita is just a great role model for leadership, for engineering and for us young Australian women. I think RoboGals is such a good organisation and, and I think Marita's done a great job of not just inspiring girls to do engineering but inspiring her peers to be leaders. So the way she's set up the chapters, the young women doing engineering at university are also learning to be leaders and, and that's what Australia needs and technical leaders, young women who are able to take on those leadership roles. I think that Marita is a great inspiration. I mean, not only as a woman has she completed her engineering degree, but she's founded Robag Girls, which is great to get women involved in science and engineering. She's just providing an inspiration to young girls, especially there's not a lot, it's a very, a very heavily male dominated industry and getting more girls into it is just great. I really wanted to create my own company uh, even before I came to university because I think it's an incredibly powerful way to make a really big impact. When I first came to university I didn't know anything about starting up your own organisation or starting up your own project and so I just tried to get out there and put myself into uncomfortable situations because I knew that regardless of whether the project was successful or not um, I'd learn a lot from it and that, that's what was important to me. Throughout the process of going in and doing all this stuff, I've realised, yes, this is what I actually really enjoy doing and yes, companies are a really powerful way to make a huge impact on the world and so I want to continue doing that for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm.